Hi guys, um, this is Maya. I wanted to make an update since my two week wait is quickly coming to an end and um, I wanted to keep you guys updated on what's going on. Uh, I apologize for the bad lighting. I am recording this in my living room and it's not the best lighting in my house but this is just where I am right now and I don't feel like moving so there you go. Okay, so I tested this morning And, sorry and um, unfortunately yeah just the one line for me I'm not gonna lie as I predicted I am a lot more disappointed this time around than I was last month simply because we put a lot more effort into it I guess um, and I had allowed myself to hope for a positive outcome um, even though I did not uh, make a post on my symptoms because I don't want to be the girl who cried out wolf. Uh, I did keep a log of my symptoms and actually having kept a log last month really helped me keep my symptoms in perspective uh, this month. So uh, basically what I would consider for myself extreme soreness in my breasts like I would just cross my arms and I would feel that they were sore um, I stapled something at work and I thought "Ooh, that's not normal also um, my CM was TMI sorry was a little bit unusual for me and I know that Maven even though that's not your real name I'm sorry but that's the name that I can uh, remember right now uh, she mentioned that that was one of her first signs that that's uh, something was going on so that and then on Saturday while we were away um, I noticed some slight spotting and that was cycle day 23 10 DPO so you TTCers out there know what where I went in my head with that and I thought oh it might be implantation bleeding apparently not what it was I have no idea in my entire life I don't recall ever having spotting on cycle day 23. Not ever. Um, so yeah. And cycle day 24, uh, 11 DPO, I had no spotting at all. Uh, and this morning I had slight spotting, but now it's cycle day 25 and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have a 26 day cycle. So I am 99% sure that I am getting my period in the morning. My husband doesn't know that I woke up at 5.30 in the morning to take this test because I want to surprise him more than anything. Um, more than I want his support actually during this. However, I did tell him this afternoon that I was pretty sure my period was coming. And to see the look of disappointment in his face, man, that's when I got a little teary-eyed. Um, yeah. We spent the weekend with a bunch of friends and... Uh, Two of these friends have a son who is actually my husband's godson and uh, just to see him play with that baby and to be with that baby and uh, I was having a bit of the baby fever this morning so yeah that's not helping the whole one line scenario but what are you gonna do um, so I guess that's it uh, I am just waiting for it now you know I have I bought a two-pack uh, this is the brand that I use it's just like a drugstore brand and it says pregnancy test in Dutch in French and in German three official languages of Belgium where I live and basically you can see here what you're supposed to do Ooh, where is it oh there sorry yeah it's that kind so you put four drops in there and you wait five minutes and if you're lucky something shows up which it didn't and I also got a digital kind but this is more expensive this was five euros uh, which is roughly eight dollars for two uh, and this is a digital test that I also got Ooh, too close and it's more that it says that it's more than 99% accurate and basically it says this is pregnant here here that's pregnant and that's not pregnant and it has a conception indicator and the numbers that you see underneath there see oh yeah sorry 
it's one to two. So that means if you get that, it means that you're one to two weeks pregnant. It measures your HCG levels, and according to that, it will tell you what it is. So I am not going to open this until I get a positive here. <laughs> Uh, I'm not. I financially and mentally, I don't want to go there. I don't want to. Yeah. All right. So what else? Oh, one of the reasons that I was so disappointed, well, well other other than the obvious reasons to be disappointed, is that because I was, I guess you don't realize until you get the negative how much you were hoping that it would be positive. Um, but I wanted to be prepared in the event that it was positive and I figured out a way to tell my husband about it, about giving him the news, I mean. Um, it's the holidays everywhere and while Christmas is celebrated here, it is not the main gift giving holiday for like children and families, especially children. Uh, and it's my husband's favorite holiday. Even now he's as excited as a little kid. Uh, and what you do is you celebrate Sinterklaas on December 6th. And Sinterklaas is this man. Does it remind you of anyone? Oh, where is he? There he is. Who does that remind you of? White beard, red. Actually, he is Saint Nicholas, which is what Santa Claus is based off of. And he comes in a boat, a steamboat. You see that? Steamboat. And he has this guy who's called Black Pete. Uh, in Dutch is called Swartepiet, and uh, he's Sinterklaas. So he brings gifts to the children on December 6th. And uh, on the two weeks leading up to Sinterklaas, children will put up their shoes with a little something for him. He comes during the night, and a little something for uh, Swartepiet, and a little something for his uh, uh, horse. Sorry. Oh. And uh, yeah, so you leave something out for them and uh, you hope to find something in your shoe in the morning. And it can be something really small, like on the two weeks leading up to it, it will be something really, really small for children. Um, and on the sixth, it's when you get your big present. And since my husband is so into this, uh, I thought a great way to tell him would be to get him a children's book. And it is, look. It has like words in there for boat and stuff. So it's the story of, of, of Sinterklaas and where he comes from and whatnot. And uh, so I thought I would put this in his shoe and tell him, look, you got something in your shoe. And I would put in a little note in here that said that it was for him to read to our babies next year. Our baby uh, <laughs> next year. Um, twins don't run in my family. That was just an accident. <laughs> All right. So uh, the thing is, December 6th is fast approaching, and yeah, this won't work as an idea for uh, my next cycle, if we are lucky, next cycle. So I'm kind of bummed out. It would have been so perfect, because my husband loves this holiday so much, and I was very sad that uh, I even came up with a way of telling him, and it didn't work. I mean, it's not going to work out this month, but you know what? Yeah. So, I am sad, and I am disappointed, and I hope... All of you guys out there who are on a much uh, longer, much longer journey than I am, uh, understand that my sadness in no way uh, means that I cannot get some perspective on this. And uh, we're all entitled to our disappointment and to our sadness, and that in no way means that we are not compassionate and understanding and respectful of other people's feelings so yeah I wanted to say that uh what else yeah so I'm not now just going to be waiting like I said or I don't know if I said it anymore I this is the third time I tried to make this video I am uh spotting and spotting on cycle day 25 when you are pretty sure you're on a 26 day cycle it's not good news I'm fully expecting AF to show in the morning what to make of my symptoms? I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, I guess it is what it is. Um, I was a lot better at keeping a more relaxed state of mind this time around. Um, but yeah. 
So I guess that's it. Oh, uh, I made a video last week asking uh, on an opinion on whether or not I should go to uh, the gym. And in the end, I, I didn't. I didn't uh, because I don't remember anymore who wrote this, but it's true. I guess during the two-week wait, I'm going to treat myself like I'm pregnant. Um, and I'd much rather be, and even now, I'd much rather be the couch potato who stayed home and played safe than the newly pregnant woman who regrets having gone to the gym. So you know what, on Wednesday I'll go, and that's just it. Okay, so I guess that's all I had to say. Uh, another reason that I, I guess, I'm gonna tell you that I'm disappointed is that I was hoping to be able to tell my family uh, in person. We are going back home, my husband and I, uh, to get married again. <laughs> uh, this time in my country with my family. And uh, I was hoping, since we're going to be there for the holidays, that I was going to be able to tell them and give them the good news then. I don't spend very much time with my family at all. I see them once a year for a couple weeks. And uh, it's been so long since I actually got to share good news with them in person. Um, I was so hoping to be able to do that. And uh, that was also something that, you know, your mind just go there, goes there, sorry. Even if you're trying to keep a level-headed attitude, you still hope with it, go there and you hope. So, you know what? You have to keep up hope. And um, I thank you all for your nice, kind comments. Uh, please don't feel sorry for me. I am sad, and I, I really am sad <laughs> and disappointed. But I'm also fully aware that it takes time. And for all of... You guys who have gotten your positives, especially Katie, I am so happy for you. Um, and I'm hoping to join you very, very soon. Um, baby dust to all of us who have yet to get our BFPs. And um, till next time, you guys. Bye.